So over the course of the last few months, our team have been researching, uh, filling the uh, Trove databases with images that we find on the uh, internet. And on our travels, we found some really, really amazing photographs. So what we thought we'd do today is we put a compilation of these together and just have a look through. You'll find there's some amazing photos here. I hope you enjoy. So let's start off by looking at some old faults. Now, in this picture here, uh, we can see a most interesting fault. Uh, in fact, it looks like it's a, a thrust fault. This comes from Ali Ujbani. Drawn on here are our interpretation of what might be going on. It looks like there's some kind of a thrust plane or decolmo there. And you can see the, the folded rocks above. Great photo. This one we uh, particularly liked. In fact, I think it inspired the, uh, the entire series. It's uh, faults in the freshly excavated extension of the Corinth Canal. And uh, you can see a, a very convenient uh, digger there for, for scale. And um, we've actually taken that section and got rid of the road. Um, and you can see we've kind of come up with a, an interpretation. So some websites also have uh, some pretty good geological photos. This one here from the Geopressure Consultancy and... Uh, this is uh, Steve O'Connor and uh, our interpretation there. Looks like there's a fault there, maybe soling out, uh, but certainly looks like a, a reverse fault. So some less old faults. And uh, you can see here, here's the Lastro Normal Fault in Eastern Crete, apparently uh, due to a sort of mountain belt collapse. And uh, a very recent event here, the Turkish earthquake of from February 2023. And uh, it's going to be... Difficult for a train to get around that bend. This picture's uh, great from the Bighorn Basin in Wyoming, and uh, it's supposedly showing bentonite flat irons. Not too sure what they are. In Cretaceous shales. Very, very regular. Is that an erosional pattern? If anybody knows, please uh, put it in the comments below. Surface anticlines are well known, particularly like this uh, photograph. It's uh, an aerial view of an anticline in the Zagros Mountains. So that'll uh, maybe Iran. And, uh, you know, about a third of the uh, anticlines contain oil and gas, according to this particular source. Another look at, uh, well, I think erosional features, and these are the flat irons of the Colorado Plateau, uh, again from the USA. And... Uh, this is the Comb Ridge in Utah. So these uh, flat-lying sandstone layers were tilted and uplifted and then eroded by water. And I think it's the erosion. Very, very regular space, though. So a really look, good-looking picture, that. And uh, that comes from uh, Hamza. So from northeast Scotland, here's the Gardenstown conglomerate. Now this is part of the Devonian uh, Old Red Sandstone uh, supergroup. And uh, note the way the uh, lithologies go from... Uh, from conglomerate and then abruptly changed to a, a well-sorted um, sandstone, the, the red colored rock there. And uh, you can see, uh, trying to follow that uh, that joint there on the, not easy to see it in that middle bit. Uh, also noted that uh, this uh, outcrop was featured in one of Rob Butler's excellent YouTube videos. Um, he has a, a channel and I would thoroughly recommend uh, people go and have a look at, uh, at Rob's work. Very interesting. So this is from South Tyrol. Um, this is the Earth Pyramid, as they're called, uh, northern Italy. So these are glacial moraines. Um, and if you get the uh, cap of a, uh, a boulder, which is uh, obviously not eroding quite as rapidly as the rest, then uh, wait a thousand years and you get these fantastic, really interesting looking features here. So, um, yeah, great photo. So in this photograph, we're looking at uh, Kane County, Utah in the United States. And uh, these are sort of veins that have been mineralized. And uh, it's in this Jurassic aged uh, Navajo uh, sandstone. Now, uh, really amazing looking things. So this uh, photograph here, uh, courtesy of uh, Connor O'Sullivan. And uh, it comes from Lokshini, north of Dublin. And uh, we're having a look at some uh, asymmetric foals here. The... Uh, the white rock is the uh, Mississippian limestone and, and interbedded mudstones um, folded during the Vriskan orogeny. And uh, that's uh, somebody for scale there. And you can see this sort of interpretation that we've put on just to bring out the fells. Pretty obvious what's going on there. And then, of course, we've got this uh, major angular unconformity here at the top of the uh, outcrop. And that's a quaternary 
glacial sediments on top. So uh, there's a few hundred million years missing um, along that, uh, that boundary. Next up, we're going to take a look at a couple of pictures we've found of salt in the subsurface. So this one from the uh, Realmont um, salt mine in Sicily. And this is the uh, Mycenaean age, so uh, tertiary, um, tertiary salt. And in this picture, interesting for us, because uh, those two individuals there work with us here at Trove News. That's uh, Matthew and Ben. And a fantastic photograph. Must have been a great field trip they were on. This is the Slanic salt mine in Romania and uh, posted out by uh, Matthew Edwards and a fantastic looking gallery. Great photo. We look at some uh, modern day rifting now. And uh, here's a picture from uh, Iceland, Thingvalia. This is uh, thanks to Felipe for um, posting this out, the uh, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And you can see that this is where the the plates are moving apart, the North American plate on the uh, on the left and the Eurasian plate on the right, and there's the rift in between. Great photo. So um, another surface expression of a fault, this, uh, this one here from um, Mongolia, and thanks to uh, Chris for sharing that. We did, we did find uh, just one photograph of uh, a sort of a drilling hazard, and this one caught our eye. It's... Uh, it was posted out in uh, GeoProvider. Uh, these are the sort of hazards that uh, occasionally, uh, when drilling offshore, uh, we find these uh, unexploded uh, bombs, torpedoes, mines, whatever they might be. But uh, there's a photograph of one. And finally, this was from uh, a couple of winters ago, um, a phenomenon I've never actually seen it before, but it was quite a sight. And this is called hair ice. And uh, you can see there's a a thumb there for scale uh, and this is just uh, just ice and it kind of grows by uh, kind of freezing just straight directly from the air and a special thanks to uh, Mark Tinge and Alan Fu for bringing this to uh, our attention um, I think the first time you see this if you're going down a mine and uh, you wonder if it's some kind of huge serpent coming out of the wall but um, this is uh, bitumen flowing out of the uh, the roof of a cave or roof of a um, a mine, uh, and it's actually taken from uh, uh, Italy. So it's natural bitumen seepage. Incredible. Well, I hope you enjoyed that compilation. Uh, we're thinking we might do this every few months. So if you've got any good photographs, please send them in. There's the uh, email address on the screen. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that interesting. Please hit the like, subscribe and ring the bell. Hope to see you back on our channel before too long. Bye for now.